from Shape It Up Fitness. And today I have some stretches that are perfect for tight, tight hip flexors and tight hamstrings. Um, before I dive into that, I want to let you know a, um, I have an awesome program called Turn Your Life Around. And it's basically all the tools that I have used over the past 13 years to get my clients the results that they wanted. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, and before you hesitate, this is not a gimmick. There's no potions. There's no powders. There's no crazy diets. There's no crazy insane workouts. It's perfect for the lady over 40 who wants to feel more comfortable in their own skin. So if that resonates with you, head over to shapeitupfitness.com and request a free phone consult. There's also a link above that you can click for that as well. Okay, so still haven't figured out the whole depth perception thing with the live videos. <laughs> like if I was doing this um, like a regular videos, which I've done in the past, um, you know, I usually set up my camera and all that and edit and everything, but because we're live, you know, I have to walk back there. So hang on one second and we're gonna do two stretches for your hip flexors and for tight hamstrings. And I'm gonna show you sideways and then I'm also gonna show you um, face forward so you can kind of see how the movement goes, okay? If you are a beginner, always start off um, stretching nice and easy. Make sure everybody that you are warm. Like I just got off the treadmill, I just did a little bit of a warm up because I'm gonna, after I do this video, I'm gonna go work out. But um, always listen to your body as you're stretching. Make sure you want to feel the stretch, but you don't want it to be very painful because you can be sore if you overstretch, and we don't want any pulled muscles. So like I said, I just did a little bit of a warm-up on the treadmill, and now I'm going to stretch. So when I do a warm-up stretch, I do more of a dynamic stretch, which means I'm not really holding the position. Um, I would do that at the end of my workout. That's called a static stretch. So the dynamic stretch, you're going to be moving a little bit, making little adjustments to kind of, basically you're trying to warm up those joints for what is about to come for your workout. Okay, so here come the two stretches. So I like to combine both stretches um, together. I hope everybody can hear me. If you can, give a um, thumbs up, okay? I'll try and talk a little louder. So what you want to do is step back with that leg and you want to make sure your foot is parallel to the other leg. You don't want to have it turned out at this time. So you want to keep that leg parallel. You're going to put your hands on the floor. Now, again, depending on your flexibility, you remember I was a ballet dancer, so I'm probably a little bit more flexible than the average person. Um, but I like to put my hands on the inside of my leg. You can also put it on, one of, um, on either side of your foot, and I'll show you that more in the front version. So what you're going to do is you're going to drop down into that lunge. The key to this is try to keep that back leg straight. Um, if your tush is up, that's fine, but the idea is you want to get into that hip flexor, which is this front part of your hip. And I try to kind of relax in there. You can see my hips are kind of twisting down a little bit. And again, like I said, I'm warming up, so I'm going to be moving throughout this movement. Just trying to warm that hip up. And then for the hamstring, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that foot in the back. I'm gonna to aim to get my heel down on the floor, so I'm stretching that calf, but this is the leg that you're gonna feel that hamstring. When you stretch up, this is kind of like a yoga pose, when you stretch up this outside hip or the opposite hip of the leg in front, you wanna drop that hip down. So in other words, you don't wanna have that hip open. You wanna drop the hip down. That way you're hitting all of the hamstring muscles in the back. So basically what I do is I'm gonna drop down, stretch that hip flexor, and then I'm gonna pop up, and I wanna try and get my tailbone up to the ceiling. Again, I'm moving through the stretch. If I find a sore, tight spot, I just kinda of hold it, move my hips around a little bit, trying to hit that spot a little bit better. So I'm gonna show you um, facing front what that looks like as well. So we'll do the other leg. So you can see my leg in the back, my foot is parallel to the other foot. Now you can't see the foot. There, there you go. Um, again, like I said, I'm a little probably more flexible than the average person, depending on the stretch. So I do like to put my hands on the inside 
of my foot, but you can absolutely put it, like if you're not quite down there, you can also put your hands on your knees. Um, if you have a chair, spot, something like that, hold your, help you balance. So I'm dropping down in that hip, right? Again, this leg for me is out on the side. You might feel stretched here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna straighten this leg, right? And then stretch that back leg. So you can see. My hip is not open. I'm trying to square my hip off down to the ground. Right, so I'm gonna drop down and then come back up. Good. So those are two stretches that you can combine together to stretch out your um, hip flexors and your hamstrings. Again, make sure you're warmed up always to before you start stretching. And if you have any questions on that stretch, just put it in the comment section. Um, if you want a customized program designed for you, that is part of the turnaround Turn Your Life Around program. So check it out. Head over to shapeitupfitness.com and get your request in for a phone consult. All right, have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.